everyone and welcome back. I want to start something new in the month of February. I wanted to really show you guys that I am reading your comments and I just value and appreciate your support. So during part of this tutorial today, I'm going to give one of you a shout out, a shout out just to say, hey, I appreciate you. Thank you for your support. If you haven't already, make sure you check out this month's giveaway. We're giving away for free, and I'm going to be using this today. Actually, I use this almost every single time that I put on makeup, but we're going to be giving away for free a Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. I love this palette. You guys know I use it all the time. I just love it. I also wanted to say a huge thank you to everyone who subscribed last month. Oh my goodness. So you know that originally my goal was like very aggressive, and I had to reevaluate that, so I made my new goal 50 subscribers for my first month on YouTube, and you guys blew it out of the water. We reached, I think it was officially 78 subscribers. Like, what? That's crazy. Oh my goodness. And so, just to keep on track with how I'm doing throughout the year, I will give you guys updates every now and again. This month, we are going to stretch for 150. I have no idea if it's even possible. So anyways, why are we here today, guys? So I am feeling so inspired by spring. I'm feeling like, you know, it's it's our second day <laughs> out of the negative degrees and it went from like negative to almost 50 degrees. So I'm just loving this weather. I'm feeling so inspired. I got my sweater on, I got my skirt on. So today I thought it would be wonderful if we could do like a very Disney princess inspired look. Like that's what I'm feeling. So I've never tried to do a look like this before. Everyone wish me luck. <laughs> let's see, let's see how it turns out. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is using my long comb. Ooh, look at that, it kind of is in focus. Foundation. Now I'm just gonna take my Dampen Beauty Blender and blend away. All right, so now I'm just gonna go in with my Tarte Creaseless Concealer. You guys know that this has been my go-to for a while. I do enjoy it. I feel like it does an amazing job of being creaseless. Especially in here, like do you see Oh, that's kind of gathering up because I have all that extra skin in there. So I'll just go in with my finger and pat it out. Same on this side. Next, I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit. You guys know the drill. Alright, now I'm just going to go in with my contouring brushes. They don't really look different, but I do use one for highlighting and one for the contouring. So I'll be switching back and forth between the brush. They are the exact same brush, but I just got two of them because I love them so much. I'm going to go ahead and set this a while using my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Now taking my Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette, I'm going to be going in with the color Faint right here and put that on my eyelid. Now I'm going to take the color here, Silk Cream, and the color MFEO. What does that stand for? MFEO. I don't know. If you guys know what this stands for, let me know in the comments, please. Because your girl has no idea. And I'm going to be applying those just right above my natural crease. Now I'm just going to take those two colors and work them down into the corners of my eyes. Next I'm going to use my e.l.f. eye defining brush. I'm going to apply the color Hilster to the corners of my eyes and create almost like a smoky cat eye. All right, now I'm gonna go in with my very favorite brush ever. This is the Sephora Pro Feather Light Crease Brush, number 38. I'm telling you guys, this has changed the game for me with blending. I absolutely love this brush. I think it cost me somewhere around $30 just for this one brush. I did splurge, um, but this, I absolutely do not regret it. So if you guys are looking for a good blending brush, check this brush out. Now 
I'm just gonna go back in with that same color. And I'm actually gonna go back in with the same brush, only this time it's gonna be wet, so that way I get a little bit more of that pigment to stay. back in with the blending brush and I'm just going to clean up my crease just a little hair. Now I'm going to go in with my Sephora Colorful Wing It Felt Tip Eyeliner. Gonna pop on some mascara. I've been reaching for the NARS Climax. I really like this because this is kind of like your all-in-one mascara. It adds lots of volume, lots of length, lots of everything a girl could ask for for mascara. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and just pop a little bit of blush onto my cheeks. I'm using the Sephora brand blush. It's called Shame On You Number One. Alright, now I'm going to go back in with the Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm going to put the color Faint right there on my lips. Actually, that was a little too light, I think. So let's go in with this shade right here called Little Lady. I feel like that's very appropriate. I'm a little princess lady. And last but not least, I am just going to outline my lips, like around the shadow spots, in this crayon apple color. Ooh, I really like how pink that turned it. You know what? Maybe I'll go ahead and apply that on my top lip as well. Okay, last but not least, let's get those eyebrows in shape. I'm going to be using my Smashbox palette, the shade Jolt, which is that one right there, and this cute little angle brush that came in the set. Okay, so we have those for 
but we could do like something teardrop. What do you think of those? Oh yeah, that is definitely like a princess vibe. Let's do it. Oh yeah, I think that's gorgeous. <gasps> All right, so that is it for today's look. Make sure that if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, especially to be entered into the giveaway. But that is all for today, everyone. Also, be sure to check me out on Facebook and Instagram for more content. Okay, bye for now, loves. All right, it's shout out time. I want to celebrate one of you today. And today's special shout out is gonna go to Audrey Henry. Audrey, I just wanna thank you so much for all of your love, for all of your support, for all of your kindness. Thank you for supporting both me and my brother. You're a wonderful person and a wonderful friend. Thank you.